All right, guys, I met a health practitioner from Albany who is anti-tobacco, and I want to get her opinion on vaping. What's your name? My name is Dianera Cisnettles, and I'm from New York. Nice, nice. So what's your opinion on vaping? Vaping is definitely not a safe alternative to cigarettes, combustible. So um, our, the market makes you believe like it is, but it's not. It's worse, right? It's worse. Yep, and yep, especially yep. like Juul, it yep. has like five milligram of nicotine, yep. which is equivalent to like a pack of cigarettes. Yep. And so if you're using one or two pods a day, you in essence are smoking like Two pack, um, two packs of cigarettes. Yeah, it's disgusting. And 40 then, cigarettes. And then, and then they're using flavors like bubble gum and Sour Patch to target the kids and the teenagers. Which is definitely aimed at children. And let me tell you this, I, I was almost about to buy a Juul, uh -huh. but I punched myself in the <laughs> and then I didn't buy one. And I said, what am I doing? I'm not yeah, a smoker. No, definitely. And it's a gateway for um, youth because what they do is they try in the Juul and electronic cigarette and then they are, you know, kind of transitioning into combustible. Where right. otherwise they would never have done it. All right, so, so vaping is pretty bad. Very bad. All right, guys. And there is no evidence yet that says it is safer right. at all. So. Hear that, guys? <laughs> so my blog is going to be coming out soon about anti-vaping <laughs> and why you should all stop doing it, you dumbasses. All right, guys. So I wanted to add a few more thoughts to my uh, anti-vaping post. Um, so I'm not a smoker. You know, I, I will admit I have smoked cigarettes from time to time in the context of nights out drinking with friends. Um, being that I don't drink that often anymore, I might have one or two cigarettes a week, which I admit is pretty stupid, but when you factor in all the healthy things that I'm doing, such as going to the gym five days a week, drinking three liters of water a day, you know, eating healthy, inter intermittent fasting, I feel like one or two cigarettes a week is fine, it's okay, probably zero's better, but you know, balance, right? So this whole vaping thing, I, most of my friends and a lot of my friends, I mean, everyone has a vape in their pocket now or the Juul. And I got to say, like, cigarettes, when I'm sober, taste disgusting. When I'm drunk, they're delicious. But Juul is always delicious because they have great flavors like bubble gum and Sour Patch and strawberry candy mint and Thai coconut. And so you smoke it for two reasons. Well, three, actually. Number one, you get addicted to nicotine. Number two, you love the flavor. And number three, everyone's doing it. My problem is that it's become so accessible that you don't even have to step outside to smoke a Juul. You could do it indoors because it's releasing, you know, vapor. So it's safe to do indoors. And so it's just become totally accessible. And one of those little pods, those, those, those oil packs, whatever they're called, most kids are going through one of those a day. That's like having an entire pack of cigarettes in a day. It's so gross. So anyway, we got to figure this out and stop vaping. Beer back. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I think that there needs to be a lot of research done about the short and long-term effects on vaping because actually we don't really have any studies yet. This stuff is all brand new. Um, now, I don't know if you guys saw the article on CNN about a young kid who was vaping for a year and a half and now he has the lungs of a 70-year-old. And the doctor said if he didn't stop vaping, he would have actually died from a collapsed, destroyed lung. So. I have friends that are vaping all day long. They're going through a pod a day. They wouldn't do a pack of cigarettes a day, but yet when you have the pods, it doesn't seem that unhealthy, you know? Um, just stop. I think once in a while is okay. The way, the way I look at vaping is it's kind of like hookah or shisha, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know, but that's a social thing you do maybe once a month with your friends. Having a jewel is like doing hookah every single goddamn day. And uh, I just fear, uh, uh, I have a fear about the health implications it'll have on my friends and society, but especially the kids and the youth that otherwise would not have smoked, but do it because brands like Juul, who by the way have 75% market share, so I do think Juul has to really step up and uh, focus on getting this research done, just show how bad this stuff is. Uh, but there's a reason why they're delaying. They wanted to make sure they got everyone addicted before they release their research. So the same problem that happened with cigarettes is happening now with Juul, and uh, I think it's definitely an epidemic. Now, someone said, why don't we just ban all of Juul? Well, my opinion on that is you can't ban something just because it's unhealthy, because if that was the case, you would make alcohol illegal, you'd make cigarettes illegal, you'd make Juul illegal, but at the same time, you'd also make not going to the gym illegal or not exercising illegal 
or being obese legal. You can't do that, you know? People are gonna do what they wanna do, and if someone wants to kill themselves slowly, that's fine, that's up to them. But at least they should have all information available so they can make the best decision for them. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you agree or disagree, leave some comments. Uh, I will be writing a blog post about this in the near future just to have my thoughts more concise, maybe with some charts and graphs in there. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your week. It is Thirsty Thursday, so hope you guys are going out, having a cocktail, drink in moderation, don't drink and drive. Be free, my sheeple. Hey guys, be free, my sheeple. <laughs>